Hello, guys. Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Sodazir. Help. This is what happens when hell freezes over. Or at least, that's what happens in Wily Wars. We'll see if it's as bad this time. Iceman! Stop and freeze! Ready? Always check left, even though there's nothing there. Oh, oh, right. That's how ice physics work in this game. No water physics! They kept that! Yeah, a lack of water physics. I said no water physics. I know. It's just, it's something that I always... Hey, shield attackers were added, right! Oh... And their AI is improved. Hard mode. Everything is slippery. Yep. Yoku blocks. Thankfully, they're a lot easier to deal with this time around. You're annoyingly placed. It's also interesting, the timing on the Yoku blocks is inaccurate. Wait, no it's not. I'm just crazy. Probably because of dealing with those guys for too long. <gasps> oh! Thank god for invincibility frames, am I right? Yep. I forgot about that! Derp. Huh? Fire pillars? Here? That seems a little out of place. Capcom, what were you thinking? Oh, I remember this room, alright. The only thing it's missing is the water. Right. That's a difficult jump. Hate this stage! There. 2.5... I guess this is 2.5D. 2.5D games like Powered Up make it really awkward to tell where the edges of platform hitboxes are. I see footholders have kept their erratic flight patterns. It's actually one of the reasons I'm really worried about how Mega Man 11's environments and j just how Mega Man 11 looks right now. I have a feeling it would be very hard to actually see where the edge, how far you can go on a ledge without falling off. Although, it looks like it's done better than even games like X4, 5, and 6. Well, X4, X5, and X6 still had the sprite-based artwork. They did, but that time it wasn't super, it wasn't the fault in the sprites that made it hard to tell. It was a fault in the environment. They were designed to look 3D, so you couldn't tell where you were actually landing. And mm, Jeez, I was, like, right on the edge of that one! There! Stymied by a simple two-block Yoku puzzle. Yep. No, no, no! Ah. I'm not just gonna go on to easy mode or normal mode or anything. I wanna do this on hard. We're gonna be here a while. Maybe, maybe not. I 
don't even remember the last time I actually played through the default campaign of Mega Man Powered Up. For the last... For the last time I played it... The last long period of time, actually, that I was playing the game, it was just the level editor. I HATE FOOTHOLDERS! Don't we all? Alright. We're back. And we haven't died yet. Congratulations to us. We're getting better. Why did Capcom feel the need to add insult to injury by placing spikes down here instead of just bottomless pits? The fact. Slippery physics. I don't have a problem with the fact that they added spikes. It's better than a bottomless pit. The problem is that the spike pit is unavoidable. Like, once you fall. Un inescapable, I guess I should say. Once you fall in that pit. Unless you already have the Magnet Beam, which, actually, come to think of it, was removed in the new style. Like, unless you have anything like that, you can't get out. Isn't that the point of a death hazard? It is, but normally with Spike Pits, I like to make... They should be avoidable, especially in cases like this. Doesn't help that these guys' paths are basically randomized. Just like in the original. Except in the editor where they have clear patterns. In Mega Man Maker, they only travel from one point to another in a straight line. Yeah. Point A to point B type. I actually much prefer that type. Because there, you can actually learn what's going on. As opposed to this. Footholders. One of the most dreaded enemies from the original... For good reason. The thing is that they tend to change direction in mid-air, going just outside of your jumping range. Alright, we're back. Oh god. I just Ow. thought of something. What? If someone was actually crazy enough to make an Iceman... You jump too early. If someone was actually crazy enough to make an Iceman Hard Mode stage... This is Iceman Hard Mode! I'm talking about along the lines of Spark Lab hatred. Oh. Yeah. Spark Lab Hard Mode is just unfair. What happens when I get really evil in Mega Man Maker? And the thing is, that stage is considered outdated by now, probably. Oh. Imagine the craziness you could pull off with today's Mega Man Maker assets. I don't even know. Alright. Okay. New territory! It's horrible having to jump over shots. Make it, make it, make it, make it. There! Yes. Finally! That's just mean! Oh, hey, there is another crazy razy in the stage. Let's do another. Oh, of course. Time to fight Ice Man. Uh, Ice Man. Ancestors help us. Totally realistic fish. Can we just say that Iceman looks like a complete douche and fully charged? I always thought he was saying Clark whenever he, sp whenever he spat his ice slasher. 
in this game. I got hit. Oh! He still hits like a truck! Iceman, you put up one hell of a fight. Still easier than Guts, man. And hey, he didn't blow up. He did not, and we still got over a hundred percent time rate. Only Somehow. just though. You get it. You got a new weapon, Ice Slasher, which actually has offensive power in this game. Thank the ancestors. Although it only deals half the damage of your mo of your Mega Buster. Well done, Mega Man. Thanks to your mercy and kindness, I can repair these robots. Thank goodness, right, Mega? You battled and defeated my robots without destroying them and brought them home. It's all thanks to your efforts. You're a great help. You can now play as Iceman. Press the R button to sh to choose him on the player select screen. You now have new challenges waiting for you. Choose challenge from the mode select screen. Yep. So next up is gonna be Bomb Man. But we'll leave that for next time. Iceman himself wasn't as bad as I thought he was going to be. The How stage though. Yeah, footholders don't deserve they they just shouldn't exist. And if they do, make them good. Don't randomize them. So, with that. This is Hatred Elemental and Draco Sunday so signing out. We hope that you guys enjoyed and we will see you again next time. We're gonna be heading to the bomb factory next. Yep. Goodbye. No, no longer is it the random orb city, it's actually a factory. Yeah, what the heck was with the orb city? I don't know.